Hey my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. The electric car wars are really starting to sizzle. Did you see what I did there? I'm nasty. Kia has just introduced the new EV6, their first dedicated electric crossover that's going to compete with the likes of the Tesla Model Y and the Mustang Mach-E. So we're going to get our first look at it inside and out and I'm going to tell you all about what makes it hum. Kia was the first of the Hyundai Kia partnership to fully unveil their all new electric 2022 EV6 CUV based on the company's new electric global modular platform known as eGMP, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 being the family sister ship. The all electric Kia EV6 is a sizable crossover with a wheelbase of 114.2 inches, the same as the brand's full size Telluride SUV. With short overhangs, the five passenger crossover is comparable in size and scope to the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y. Styling as expected here leans into the futuristic. Sporty and high-tech in flavor, the EV6 features what Kia calls a digital tiger grille design with sequential LED lighting elements front and rear. Its coupe-like roofline with high rear deck and details such as the Tesla-like flush door handle serve to give it the visual bona fides it needs here. Wheel sizes range from a standard 19 to 21 inches in size. The cabin is rich and thick with futuristic touches like a full-width dual-screen driver cockpit, fully connected interface and infotainment systems, and all of the LED lighting snaz you can absorb. The look, however, is contemporary Kia right down to the shiny piano black materials that always look dusty even when they're clean. Kia says it is all, however, eco-friendly, with extensive use of recycled plastics and 100% vegan leather surfaces. Spaciousness is the watchword here though. With a flat floor afforded by its centrally located battery pack, there's some 102 cubic feet of passenger volume. Storage behind the second row is 27.7 cubic feet and 53.5 cubic feet with the seats down. While the cargo floor isn't entirely flat, getting into it's easy with the power lift gate. Using this space is key as the EV6 doesn't have much of a front space up front like other competing electric CUVs due to its powertrain packaging. In that way, the Kia EV6 will be available with a wide variety of powertrain and battery options. The headline, of course, is the all-powerful EV6 GT with 576 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and a 0-60 to 60 time of less than 3.5 seconds. Whoosh! Base models, however, will be available with just rear-wheel drive and a starting power rating of 167 horsepower. Between the base and GT are other variations including rear-wheel drive with 218 horsepower and all-wheel drive with 313. Maximum range will be up to 300 miles. Available in two sizes of 58 kilowatt hour and 77 kilowatt hour, the eGMP architecture puts the nickel cobalt manganese battery packs under the floor for a low center of gravity. Available is an industry first 800 volt multi charging architecture that allows for ultra fast DC charging of up to 210 miles of charge in under 18 minutes. Some 70 miles added in as little as 5 minutes. Level 2 charging, more common, can recharge to 100% in 7 hours. With all of its battery capacity, the EV6 can be a power source with up to 1900 watts for tailgating, camping, or other on-the-go needs. The 2022 Kia EV6 goes on sale early in 2022, starting with a limited first edition of 1500 units that can be reserved at the Kia website starting on June 3rd. It comes with a number of key features and packaging along with 313 horsepower dual motor all-wheel drive and the longer range 77 kilowatt hour battery. As I absolutely love electric cars, I can't wait to test drive it. This is a new platform that both Hyundai and Kia will be using on a variety of different vehicles from inexpensive all the way up to luxury cars. Expect Genesis to get something of it. Um, it's going to be exciting and obviously pricing is going to come along a little bit closer to launch for all of the models. Until then, see our latest video right there or subscribe to our YouTube channel right there. Either way, stay tuned.